I, I tell you what, the most dangerous place for black people to live is in white people's imagination. Like, it's never the guy they see. It's not the black guy, it's the black guy in Chicago. It's the black guy they saw right. on the news, it's the black guy on the video. Like, I'm scared of the black dude in their imagination. <laughs> Like, well, I, hope, that's, that's, I hope I never meet him. You know what? That's a powerful observation because, I mean, that, that really is it. It's, it's more the idea of the right. black man than the actual black man. It's, it's an idea that's being perpetuated through w whatever it might be, Even the news if you look or at screen or... What happened with Trump and Obama? Everything they said about him was made up. He, he doesn't belong here. He's a Muslim. He wasn't born here. He hates America. He's really a terrorist. Right. And people believed it. They believed it because the, 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 the idea of us is much more impact, impact, impactful and fearful than the reality of us. And, and, and you get to do it. You get to, like, if there's a shooting in Chicago, they'll say, well, you know, 75 people were killed in Chicago, and that's an indicator. Well, most black people don't live in Chicago, but that is what we get indicted with. Right, right, a right. A bunch of well, white kids get killed with opiate. We don't say that those are all white kids. Right. But you, you get to paint us with one bri brush, and it, it becomes our story. And, and, like, a, I remember Stephen Clark got shot in Sacramento, and they pointed to Chicago. I'm like, I, I need a new schoolhouse rock edition, because I don't even know... <laughs> <laughs> like, I, don't, I didn't even know they were that close.